for him. We back. We back. After this episode, we're gonna take a really quick dinner break. It's gonna be double time, but I gotta get grandma pills, so we have to. Got yet another on. one. Ray, what was the thing? Raymond has a bad feeling. Oh dear. Things aren't good at all. Ben. Not at all. I'm afraid I have a bad feeling about this. Starting to have doubts now. Afrid. I'm Afrid. If you want me to do those mess ups, then you do them. Tucker, you're doing a good job, don't you? I'm not criticizing you. Don't you get negative there, Sally. You know, in the stories, it always turns out bad when the characters mess around with the dead. The more I think about it, the more I tell myself it wasn't such a good idea to bring Michelle back. We weren't on such good terms at the end, and she may be upset with me for abandoning her on this altar. What? Oh no, the shovel! I'm just holding it as my spare. You never know when you might need a shovel. Oh dear, I'm terrified. But I can't turn back now. It's too late. My friend, I may have just been a bit paranoid, but I need some reassurance. You think you can watch in front of my house tonight? I don't really feel safe. I promise I'll give you something great if you help me out. I really need protection. I got a real bad feeling. Just keep watch tonight. That's all I'm asking for you to do. Friend. Do that for good old Ray. They're not even the last one. <laughs> Increase the difficulty. We have to kill 100 infected. <laughs> Something's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> now you're a smart mouse, made me mad. What smart mouse? You wanna do those mess ups, you do it. I don't feel like I'm good at them, so I was wondering if you wanted to do it. I was just making jokes with you. You took it personal. Now what is what exactly is going on? We had to protect Raymond. Again? What? Yeah. Where's he at? We have to find him. Oh, this looks tough. We had to kill 100 of these guys, so. I'm gonna be out of steel arrows. We need to get to somehow get to steel forging. Watch out, Turok. It's like Dawn of the Dead. We're wrestling. Oh, shit. I got two hit. It's like Night of the Dead. Yeah, Night of the Living Dead, I agree. It's actually kind of cool, though. I'll die. I got restorative potion. I... I... Wait. Did it pick you up? Yeah, that's what I, I, that's what I told you it did. I know that was your opinion. I was... You're right. I just thought it healed you over time. That means I could have done that too. Oh yeah, it's an elite mission. So let's just restart. I mean, just die. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, restorative potion. Good. Good call. You were right. I'll use that next time. I need arrows though, bad. All right. Oh. <clears throat> oh man. Okay, so this mission is gonna be tough. Now I should have restorative potions on me though. I think I should I should have the five that we had. I'm gonna check once you do that. I have Scion. Do you have a strength potion? I think it'd be worth going in and make a strength potion, and that damage resistance would be good. I got. Make you a strength potion. I also drop off anyway. The saw log. Is it not over here? It's down. We have to go down and to uh -oh. the right. <laughs> that keeps getting randomly bashed in the head. <laughs> Why not? It's free loot. It's free money. I wish that them having power down here had more of a bearing on the game. Like how Fallout 4 needs you to have power so that way you can operate stuff. Yeah, and in this case, not even a need. Just up, you get to have access to like electric traps and machines in your base, machine pressing, like automatically smelting all the stuff that you get that's junk. Things that these types of games tend to do to reward you for moving stuff forward and the world would feel more dynamic. 
There's like only been that one moment where the world felt dynamic and that's when these zombies were suddenly empowered. Yeah. Oh, damn, always thinking I'm the cool ass snake and I'm just the lame ass crawl dad. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> All right, have a good day, sir. <laughs> oh, we got to pick her out this place. I'm going to move off steel arrows for a while, though, just so we can have something that we can actually craft. So we get to that point. That weight limit's really helping you out. Yeah, it is. That's why we need to get you that, too. Which you might... pounds worth of grilled fish and... Ten pounds worth of white. <laughs> I'm just glad it doesn't go bad. Uh -oh. it's like Fallout does. Oh, cutting pliers. I think that's new. Get rid of this. Well, cutting pliers lets us get more value out of the snake. Oh, it does. Yeah, and the foundry you can use it with uh, steel grates to get a lot more nails out of it than if you were using saw. Oh, good. I just need to make arrows overall, actually. I was going to go over to Fletched and... Just holding uh, a lot of stuff, I guess. That looks like you're good. <laughs> Hooray! Some more before we go out? I'm going to make arrows, for sure. And you need to make strength potions, which is why we came here. Hey, we can make Silex tip now. Yeah. I, what level do we have to be to make Silex tip? Oh, well. Do you want to try the Silex tip? That's why the file. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we couldn't do like any of them. Sorry, don't make bolts. There we go. Fleshed arrows. I actually bolts? made a couple crossbow bolts. Oh. I don't even know how we got more feathers Unless we never ran out I remember doing the turkeys I just don't remember farming any extras Okay Strength potion Hey Hey <laughs> Let's just store the potions. Yeah, that's nice. Phoenix, basically a Phoenix kit. Special, isn't it special purple potion, the strength potion? Over. Yeah, special purple potion is. Yeah, that. And I'll pop a scion as we go in, and that should allow us to run through the zombies. Eh, I'll be good for now. Both need to heal, too. Speaking of. Can't we craft bandages at the accessories? Is it cheaper over there? Craft in the chemical. Let's get some healing together. Go ahead. All dressing. Large dressing. Is that white tea flour? I don't know so about it. So we can it. make two small dressings. Five health. 34 Ooh. health each. Better for two. Yeah, and we need a lot of cloth because we need that backpack. I didn't realize we were still so low on it. Ooh. That gives you full health. Wow. All we need is to rip up some leather straps. That's easy. You have eight machetes. We have eight machetes. Okay, these health kits give you full health. And they give you 50% damage reduction. Wow. 200% reduction. So you need, as we go in, strength potion and drink the chai tea, and I'll drink a scion potion and we'll own this shit. We both need to heal. Might as well heal full. It's pretty clear they're trying to overwhelm us. And if either of us go down, we know now to use a restorative potion. You already knew, but now I know. Who hasn't spawned yet? Oh, yeah, sorry. 
Habit. <clears throat> what the hell? We were right on top of one. Why did we run all that extra? Oh, we get five for this too. If it's quick, then. Well, we have to kill him. Oh, crap. Got something coming. Barrels. We'll just get in. 35 now. Don't forget to pop potion as soon as you get in. <clears throat> I <died. laughs> And we got. I know, I know, but I gotta do this real quick. Got it. All right. Oh, shit. Dude, they're super fast at level 35. Holy shit. Okay, move slow and steady. We don't want to aggro too many at once. How's the name? I'm down. Restorative potion. Yep. There's a house up here we can use. Did you you drank your tea, right? I yeah, I drank it. Does it only last like two seconds or something? I think it wears off. Oh, oh yeah, it's 30 seconds. That's terrible. I thought it was a lot better. Here's Raymond, but I don't think we should talk to him until we kill these infected. Yeah. This house porch only has one way up, so. Oh shit, I'm just waiting. Oh crap, we got a bunch of runners. How did all these guys get aggroed? I think they just did. Popper was still Look at all of them. Yeah, but this porch is working. Just don't let them get too close to the stairs. Oh, fudge, I jumped off. Fight from down there because they're stuck up here. I'm gonna die. I think you can actually get me. You have restored I do. Wait, I thought I used it. You did. It just takes a while. Can we climb up here? Nope. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll take you on! <laughs> Bring it! I'm not in here with you. You're in here with me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get away! I'm down. I don't have any restorative either situation you're in doesn't need explaining after I got down that first time there was we needed to keep the stairs we have to keep the bottleneck there's just too many and I have to make a lot more restorative potions Ready, you got a lot of them coming. Plenty of medicinal herbs around the map. Yeah, there is. Four more to kill. Three. Holy shit, they're so noisy. No wonder they say in the zombie survival guide you'll go nuts from the sound. Here's a clear. I don't like that we can target Raymond because <laughs> it's literally ruining my shots here. seconds on my scion then I'll be on my last scion scion potions pretty much required for this because those fast zombies are so fast now
Oh my god, bastard. Then I get caught on some stupid shit. Do it. Oh shit, must have wore off. Oh, I'm in a, like, a debuff period. I can't use it again for a second, I think. I think I might be able to beat it without it, though. Got six more to kill. I think there's way more than six out there. Just until the quest is completed. Most of them are ironically now slow zombies. I had 200 fleshed arrows going into this and I'm down to 28. Somebody must have been full of them then. That's insane. It was just so many zombies. There are billions with the amount of them. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm surprised that the game didn't stutter or lag or anything with that many zombies. Especially yeah. since we know this game isn't exactly ideal when it comes to performance. Well, the problem is I think I'm going to have to escort Raymond out of this shit. If that's the case, there's no... Oh my god, this, why can I target that door? And why does it like to latch onto it so much? Good news is that there's a lot less of them. Yeah, I'm going to clear them all because if I have to take Raymond out of this, I'm not risking it. But I am totally going to run out of arrows. Almost there. Another good piece of news is that I think all of them are walkers. Yeah, just these ones that are the farmers are actually pretty tough. Yeah, because they got pitchforks with stuff and do a lot more damage, give them a lot better reach. Alex tipped. Same damage. I don't understand. It's Alex tipped. Fletched arrows will be the better. Yeah, that must be the answer. A lot of redundant arrow types to me. Wow, I am pretty poor on arrows again. That's crazy. That keeps confusing me and making me think that it's a dog. What, the, the moans? The bat. Oh. It flies by, I think it's a dog speeding up. The penetration <clears throat> on the fleshed arrows goes a long way in this situation. I think all I have to do is speak with I don't, but do you think it's really worth the risk? I don't either. That's a lot of fletched arrows. There's where they all went, apparently. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, I'm going to try to retrieve some of these arrows. We come from there? Probably going to be a later used map. How did he even get over here? Like he has to talk to us about saving him. He's already been saved. <laughs> Does this take place in the like the past or the future? It's like locking yourself in a dungeon that hate to save you. <laughs> right. I was already saved from this farmhouse. Won't you go over there and save me? Over there later. <laughs> so that way I can be saved. This isn't good at all. What have I done? Oh, wait. Did he say he was heading over here? I don't understand. Does he think he's like awoken the dead? You've awoken the hive. I am. Went to take his quests. So he went here on purpose then. What was his reasoning? Uh, he thought it was better defendable or something. Call it an episode. I gotta start making dinner.